hello everyone this is cool it help and today in this video tutorial we will see the configuration of log 4 j2 with jdk 9 so let's get started i'm going to create a maven based project in the eclipse ide and then we will set up the log 4 j2 so right here this is a new project wizard and now click next choose this default arc type and click next and give the artifact id because I am creating a log4j pro project sample so I am giving a name like log4j project click finish so the project is set up here so first I have to do I have to create a resources folder for creating the log4j2 dot properties file okay so guys I am going to create a new folder here in the main okay so we have to get re sources folder finish okay now here we have to create the log for j2 dot properties file so I'm going to create log for j2 dot properties file and click finish and here we have log 4 j dot properties file so we required properties values inside this file so I have copied here all the stuff so I'm copying from that notepad and pasted here so guys don't worry about that I have given these properties in the description box so you can copy from that place and use it directly so here we have to do a small change like this is the file name so I am giving like my logger so if you want to change the name of the logger file so you can change it here okay also I am changing according changing in one more place because I am using the log4j project so I am giving the package name here sample dot log 4j project and save it okay guys now we have to add dependencies in the pom.xml so what are the correct dependencies I have noted down and I am going to directly paste it here in this dependencies tag so these are the dependencies so we require two dependencies to configure the log 4j2 so see here that uh, the version is 2.5 that is compatible with the jre 9 okay so 2.5 and we have log 4j core and we have log 4j api okay just save it and project is automatically built so i think dependencies are downloaded now we will see so here we have dependencies added okay this all set now we will do a small coding to test that the logger is working perfectly or not so come inside app.java so here we have to create the object of logger so write this statement logger is equal to you have to use the log manager to get the instance okay guys log manager dot get logger okay so here you have to give app dot class okay and this log is not visible because of uh, we have three kind of import statement here so we have to choose this one okay an error is gone now and we will write a simple statement like uh, logger dot error to print a message in the log file
ओके लॉगर इज कॉन्फिगर्ड करेक्टली ओके होल्ड ऑन प्राइवेट स्टैटिक ओके गाइस नाउ एरर इज गॉन ओके जस्ट सेव इट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू रन इट ओके गाइस नाउ सी ऑन द कंसोल द लॉग स्टेटमेंट इज प्रिंटेड now we have to check the log file is generated or not so go to this project and click right click and click refresh and see uh, i think okay now the log file is generated i am going to open this and we will see okay guys it's working okay so we got the message we have used this statement to print the message in the log file and here is the log file and the same message is printed successfully so log4j2 configured successfully in this project i have given the log4j2 properties information and the dependencies information in the description so you guys can use from the description to set up the log4j2 in your project thanks for now keep watching that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching